guys, hope you guys are well. Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video we're going to be having a little talk about one fifth scale petrol RC cars and whether they are better for a beginner or uh, whether you should go with the smaller alternative being nitro. Now naturally people tend to go for nitro cars as their first. Obviously they're smaller, they look less intimidating, they are cheaper and people think that they're likely going to be easier to use but I beg to differ. I actually think now having had a couple of petrol ones over the years I think petrol ones are a lot easier to work with. Now here we've got on the bench in front of me a 29cc 1 5th scale petrol RC car and this was purchased from banggood.com. Here in the UK we've also got a UK distributor for these cars called RC Models with a Z. I'll pop a link to them in the description below, why not? They're not paying me to do that but hey ho. Now I do think that these are a lot easier to start, maintain and store than the nitro alternatives. These have a petrol two-stroke engine in, you can get the fuel from the fuel station, mix it up, pour it in and fire it up and generally they start a lot easier than the nitro variants. Lots of people own petrol garden machinery such as chainsaws, strimmers and lawn mowers. None of those require a large amount of maintenance or nothing that the average person couldn't do themselves and these are no different to that. The engines do need a little bit more care than your garden machinery because these do rev up a lot more than your average chainsaw but generally speaking they're a lot easier to maintain than nitros. I get lots and lots of messages on a daily basis from people struggling to start nitro engines and I think largely a lot of it comes from the fact that these engines are very small, they do need a bit of TLC and they can, they can be a little bit fiddly. I do think that you need more knowledge to use these things than you do these. So just by means of demonstrating then, um, this hasn't been started for seven months so we went out last june and we're now in january of the following year um, it's midwinter it's pretty cold in here uh, despite this heater behind me it's only gone up about two degrees in the last hour so we're going to be firing it up um, for the first time in a while now when you pop one of these away you don't really you don't need to put any after run oil inside um, you don't really need to empty the fuel tank because petrol doesn't go off as quickly as nitro um, and pretty much it was put away as it, as, as it was. You know, I haven't done anything to it but I'm confident that this thing will start on the second or third pull. I'd be very surprised if it didn't. So let me bring the camera closer then and we'll prime the engine and we'll start it up. So I'm just going to check in here just see if we've got some fuel which we have and I'm just going to give it a little slosh around that's it and then here we've got our primer bulb so we're just going to press that until the primer bulb fills up Here we go, lovely. So the engine's now primed. And pretty much that's all we need to do to get this thing started. There's no glow igniters to worry about, there's no glow plugs. Obviously we do have a spark plug but they generally last a little bit longer than glow plugs. Um, there's no tuning to do, these things hold a tune really really nicely. Um, you know, and, and the thing with these is they are a lot more forgiving to tuning. You know, if it's running a little bit on the rich side, it'll still perform really, really well. Um, you know, if you think about you, you, nobody gets out their lawnmower on a weekly basis and has to do tuning, do they? And this thing's no different. So I'm going to take this outside now. This is a little bit too smoky and noisy to fire up in here. And uh, we'll get it started. We'll see how easily it starts. Okay, so I've changed my mind slightly. I am going to start it here. It won't be overly easy because you need to, you know, but um, so I've just turned it on. I haven't actually charged any of the um, batteries up, but there seems to be enough juice in there for, for the moment. Now I'm going to turn on the choke. So you do need to choke these things. Where is it? And then we're just going to pull it and you'll hear it fire. And when it fires, that's when we turn the choke off. So let's see. One, two. Did you hear it fire? Okay, so... Now we're going to turn the choke off 
And now when we pull the starter, it's probably going to fire up on the second or third pull, I reckon. Let's see if I'm right. And there you go then guys, you saw just how easily that fired up. That was the first start after seven months. Um, two pulls on the choke and then it started on the first pull and fired straight up. And, and you know, there's no way that you would ever get a nitro to start that easily. Um, you know, if it's been sat for that length of time or, or any time really. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love nitros. It was just a bit of an interesting thought. You know, I just sort of thought actually these things are easier um, to get on with for someone who's new to the hobby are a lot easier than the than the nitro ones the only thing i would say with these is obviously the hpi baja which is what this is a clone of is a no more you know you can't buy it anymore so if you want to get something that's not a clone you're probably looking at like the maverick um, blackout uh, which is a, a one-fifth scale chuck there's loads of parts for that it's a good chuck but it's very expensive uh, so it's a lot more expensive than the nitro ones so there's definitely pros and cons of both. You know, I'm not saying I dislike Nitro. I'm not saying I you know, love everything about these. But I definitely think if you're new to the hobby, just consider one of these things. Very, lots of fun. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if there's anything you guys want to see, particularly on the channel, please make sure you uh, pop it down in the comment section below. And I'll do my best to fulfill your requests. Thanks very much for tuning in. Have a great uh, weekend. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.